Well, good afternoon, friends. <laughs> I am living the good life right now. I am here in Varna. We are right in front of the Black Sea, and I am on my fifth day of relaxing by the beach because, believe it or not, it is the middle of September and it is still plus 28. 29 so I thought why not uh, get a few more weeks of uh, being on the beach because of course in the next couple of weeks it probably will begin to cool down. So for those of you who have never heard of Varna, uh, I know I didn't before I decided to go to Bulgaria, it is the third largest uh, city in Bulgaria. It's about 300,000 people right in the city, 400,000 in the urban area and it is really known as a port city. Uh, the whole coastline uh, on the east side of Bulgaria actually has some incredible beaches as well, but Varna is kind of the epicenter of that. So it really is the place that people come for rest and relaxation, getting out into nature. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing for this whole next week. And in this video, I really just wanted to give you guys an idea of what there is to see and do here. So hopefully that if you come to Bulgaria, you'll be sure to check out Varna. So we have officially left Primorsky Park, which is called the Sea Garden in English, and we are now making our way into central Varna. You guys can see this main boulevard has a lot of restaurants, cafes, there's a auditorium, festival, and congress center on my right. And this is really the area of the city where you'll find a lot of the main attractions outside of the Black Sea, obviously. The most famous cathedral uh, in the city is called the Assumption of the Holy Mother Cathedral. I believe it's that is. amazing it's... city. <laughs> Good people. We love you guys. Are you from Varna? No, I'm no? from Israel. Yeah, but you like it here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know like it. it's an amazing city. Have a good time. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What, what you in, uh, in the Instagram or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm a travel YouTuber. Uh, oh my Alina god, so I, I, I saw Yes, in the... you're currently going to yeah? be on my channel. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, what is your channel? Uh, it's Alina McLeod. Alina McLeod? Yes. Okay, I will yeah. follow you. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Lots of friendly people here in Varna as well. So yes, there's the famous uh, cathedral here in the city. There's also the archaeological museum. There's a history museum of the area. And then later on, there's actually a really awesome museum that I want to take you guys to, which is a retro museum, which kind of covers the socialist period that Bulgaria had um, from 1945 to 1989. I guess it was, 
They are not part of the USSR, but they did have a communist government in those times. So this museum kind of covers that period and there's a lot of old trinkets. So I think that'll be really interesting. just coming up to City Hall. Let me actually flip the camera for you guys. So there it is. Obshina Varna. I guess that must mean <laughs> City Hall uh, in Bulgarian. But it's interesting because the top part kind of looks like an apartment building to me. And just the bottom part <laughs> looks more official. Uh, over here though is what I take to be a little protest spot where it says anti-mafia. So if you guys watched my Sofia video, you probably heard me comment about uh, the protests that have been going on all over Bulgaria for the last uh, couple of months. So they definitely are happening here as well. And then moving away from City Hall, there's uh, a park that's adjacent to it and in it you will see uh, some tents where people are camping out. Once again, similar to Sofia, basically it's just an anti-corruption in the government and <laughs> mafia in the businesses sort of situation. So I do really applaud these people standing up for their rights. So here we are at the largest and most famous uh, cathedral here in uh, Varna. It's interesting because I googled uh, the cathedral on my way here for a bit more information for you guys and realized that there's actually two names that I see in English for this cathedral. The Assumption of the Holy Mother Cathedral as I first stated in this video and also I see the Dormition of the Holy Mother. So I'm not sure if they're both correct or if only one of them is correct. Comment down below if you're from here and know. But this cathedral was built in 1886. It has been here for a very long time. It is a Bulgarian Orthodox cathedral and that itself is interesting because obviously when Bulgaria was going through communism as a lot of Eastern Europe was, religion was basically outlawed <laughs> like you weren't supposed to be openly practicing it though of course i'm sure a lot of people had their faith in secret some churches were even torn down but others were thankfully left and considered to be historical sort of sites not actually practicing sort of cathedrals so it was really only after uh 1989 that people could openly say that they were 
religious and, uh, you know, go to churches as people are freely allowed to now. <laughs> By the looks of it, I think there is some construction going on right now. So I'm going to see if I'm able to get in. I'm going to have to somehow modestly cover up <laughs> my chest because I actually forgot that I might be going into a cathedral today and I'll see if it's possible to get some footage inside. Alright, so now we are moving on to the retro museum that I was hyping up earlier and that can be found in the Grand Mall here in Varna. It's the largest mall in the whole city. It's absolutely beautiful. I went there the other day and yeah, I'm super excited <laughs> because it is like memorabilia from the whole socialist communist era. No, I am not a communist. No, I don't think that was a good idea, but you know, it is technically a part of my heritage, so I find that kind of stuff pretty interesting. I don't think I'll be allowed to officially film inside of the mall, but I'll try and get a few sneaky shots for you guys and then also hopefully get some good footage in the Retro Museum. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little walk down memory lane if you grew up in communist times and are older than me. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek into Varna. Let me know in the comments if you yourself have ever been here before and what your impression was because I feel like a lot of people don't really even know much about the city. I know I didn't before coming here so I hope you guys will continue to join me on this journey through Bulgaria. The next place that I'm going to be going is Plovdiv which is the second 
largest city in Bulgaria. And just to close things off, I really did want to give a big thank you to all my amazing Patreon patrons. Truly, you guys, thank you so much for keeping this dream alive and for supporting my work. And if you would like to do so as well, uh, I have either PayPal or Patreon. I will put links in the description. So thank you guys so much for all your support. It truly means the world. And as always, I hope you're having an amazing day. Keep being your own kind of beautiful. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.